I am a survivor. I was in the life over 20 years, coerced in life at the age of 15. Leslie King is not just a survivor, she's a human trafficking activist. She came to this Genesee County Human Trafficking Task Force event to share her journey and to help people understand what human trafficking is really like. They control what you wear, they control what you say. You can't go anywhere by yourself. Um, beatings. King says she found the strength to leave 15 years ago and now she works with women and teenage girls who find themselves trapped in the same dangerous lifestyle she experienced. Found an organization called Sacred Beginnings um, uh, that um, we have a two-year program for women who are exiting the life. King says a lot of young girls don't even know they're being trafficked. They have boyfriends and husbands and even relatives who they believe love them and everything's in their best interest. Local law enforcement and other organizations that are on the front lines of stopping human trafficking attended this event today at the Genesee Valley Church. And at this event, the Genesee County Human Trafficking Task Force are asking the public to step up and be a part of the solution. If you can volunteer at some of the agencies that help with human trafficking, there's Beauty for Ashes, there's uh, Voices for Children, there's Reach Outreach, there's different, different organizations in our county that help in this, okay, there's different resources. That means um, having those conversations with the youth already before they're victimized, and many of them already are. We want to make sure that we're having a well-rounded conversation about human trafficking. King hopes her visit can educate the community and make a difference here. If if it don't feel right, it's not right. In Genesee County, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.